all those states that swung blue in 2020, grassroots organizing did that. And MVP funded that. That's what MVP does. We, we know what kind of really hasn't necessarily worked in politics, which is you support candidates, money gets parachuted at the la in that last minute, volunteers get parachuted in that last minute. When the election's over, they pull out and there's nothing left to build on. What MVP does, which I think is so powerful, is it invests year round in community groups that are connected to regular people, using that relationship to turn people out to vote. They focus primarily on communities of color and youth, people that can make the difference in swing states. These are the groups that have long-term relationships. When they knock on the door, the person on the other side is responding to someone that they know. That's how you're gonna be able to turn people out because you have such trust that has been built. We know our struggles and we know our communities. This is not only a place we go organize, this is our home. It's about us, this is our power, we're building power. We are out here trying to do deep organizing, and this is a movement. Racism, climate change, the tax on abortion, uh, voting rights. There is a real crisis of democracy. I think a lot of people feel overwhelmed and helpless. People are not powerless. You want to elect better people and you want to build power for the long term. This is like the one place you go to give your donation. All of the magic that's happening by those groups getting the dollars that they need right when they need it. It's really rare to be trusted as people of color, to be trusted as women, and to be trusted as young people to know our communities best. You are doing something very direct with your privilege and your money. We want our donors to wake up the day after the election with no regrets. We all have our part in the work of building the better world where we can all thrive.